Welcome back to our five-part video series on seller performance policies. In this series, we'll explain how we evaluate sellers on a monthly basis to ensure a great experience for you and your buyers. In parts one and two, we gave an overview of our seller performance policies and seller standards. Next, we'll explore ways to help you prevent cancellations and promptly address buyer issues to reduce your transaction defect rate. Avoiding cancellations is essential to a great buying experience for your buyers. Here are some effective ways to manage your inventory and minimise cancellations. First, we recommend you enable the out of stock option in your selling preferences. This automatically hides sold out listings from search results instead of ending them. Once restocked, the listing will be visible again, allowing you to maintain your sales history. Next, make use of Seller Hub to efficiently manage your inventory. You can sort listings by available quantity on the Listings tab and easily update quantities for one or more listings. Alternatively, you can download a file from the Reports tab with your current listings and upload a file with updated quantities. For high volume sellers, consider utilising bulk management tools. These tools can greatly enhance your efficiency and scalability, making it easier to manage your inventory effectively. Now let's take a look at how to resolve buyer issues. Resolving buyer issues promptly is crucial to prevent cases closed without seller resolution, which impacts your seller level. We know you work hard to ensure a smooth experience for your buyers, but we also know not every order will go perfectly. Here are some important steps to take when buyer issues do come up. Firstly, be sure to regularly check for any new item not received reports or return requests that come through. Simply go to Seller Hub, click on the Orders tab and review the Requests and Disputes section. If you haven't already, make sure to add tracking to your orders in the drop-down menu. When you have valid tracking on items with trackable services, you're protected from item not received claims. For items with the total order value above $750, the item needs to be sent with signature on delivery to be protected. Watch the Tracking 101 video on our channel to learn more. However, if tracking isn't available for your item, you'll need to refund the buyer to resolve the claim. To stay updated on any new item not as described reports, navigate to the Returns section and filter through the open returns. When a return is delivered to you, make sure to issue a full or partial refund, depending on the case. For both item not received requests and return requests, do your best to work with the buyer to provide a resolution within three business days. If the issue remains unresolved after the three days, eBay may step in to help. A request will only be marked as a case closed without seller resolution if eBay determines that the seller could have offered a suitable solution within the three days. Another policy that is important to familiarise yourself with is the eBay Money Back Guarantee Policy. We recommend you familiarise yourself with the requirements, including refund timeframes when you receive a returned item. To learn more about resolving issues and avoiding cancellations, visit our help page on monitoring and improving your seller performance. In our next video, we'll delve into service metrics and how they are evaluated.